We're back, but this time it's the real Echo, the actual, the game Echo, the main game Echo. There's a separate game Echo. If you're here, if you're starting here, and you want to follow along with us with the same order, then we already played Echo Route 65, so go watch that. I'm gonna call this part one, because it is a separate game, but this is the beginning of our series we, we'll, on Echo. We'll probably be making references we, to the other thing that we played, which yeah. if that does not matter to you, then... We played then, the prequel. Then don't worry about it, but if it does matter to you, watch the other one. Anyway, this one has routes. The last game we didn't we played didn't so much have routes. I think the dialogue gets changed by a couple of the choices you could make, but not in such a substantial way that you necessarily justifies like replaying it over and over again. Just like oh, it reacted to the thing I did. This one has routes. This one has like endings and good endings and bad endings and like bad 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 endings and like so on oh, and so forth. Let's aim for the bad 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 one. <laughs> and uh, this is this is gonna be interesting. Uh, so I have been pre-warned by, I know this is the, this is an endless dispute thing and everyone will argue about this, but I've been pre-warned that there are routes with the characters and there's like potentially an ideal order in which to pursue each character's storyline because various story beats and revelations and so on, like build organically in a certain direction and might be might, messy might and, feel more and natural. fucky if you do them in the other yeah. the other orders and so on. Maybe you learn of information in like a more natural way. Yeah, the order I have written down right now is Carl, Leo, Jenna, TJ, Flynn, and like that's relatively up. Like that's still like subject to change, but it seems very consistent across a number of people whose opinions that I respect at the very least that Carl is absolutely first and Flynn is absolutely last. I'll redispute the middle three later to be sure, but that's Let's the Let's fight that's, about it. Let's fight about it. <laughs> that's in the, the comments. one I have written down right now, so at least we know what to do today. And that we have that hint at least. I don't actually know how you do the routes necessarily. <laughs> but anyway, this is a change. So we met we met at least some of these characters before and in, in the prequel, and they're all aged up now. They all look noticeably different. Yeah, I was gonna the say they definitely played. do. That's a big. This also a really good start screen, like art wise. Uh, don't know why the games, both games, are so square instead of sixteen by nine. They just have those like the the sidebars, but whatever. <laughs> I ain't know nothing about that. It's a that. game in which we read. Uh, is my controller working? Oh, I'm tab. I don't think I'm currently have the game selected. <laughs> Gosh. And now the OBS is freaking out. Figured out. Okay, start new. Little icon's an anchor. It's an, it's an anchor on a rope. I knew you'd be back. You all come back eventually. Why do you try to run away in the first place? It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, last time a little text icon was a car, and now it's a little anchor. Mm -hmm. Even though you're here, you're gonna try and run again. Just stop. Because just like this town, you're only moving in circles. They said that last game. They did. Saturday. That was the voice in our head last game. This one has a day structure, maybe? Yeah, Mom, I brought it. No. No, I've got everything. No, TJ's with us. We picked him up yesterday. No, I... I did call you yesterday. There was no answer. Fine. Yeah. I'll try more than once next time. So I'm... Of course they're clean. <laughs> I wonder what she's talking about. Either your ears or your underwear. <laughs> Listen, I'm driving right now, so... Yeah, so I shouldn't be on the phone, should I? I'm gonna hang up. Okay, <laughs> love you too. Bye. That's a really good way of getting your parent off the phone. Like, <laughs> I'm driving, mom. It's illegal in California. Yeah, and also, it's you're supposed to care about my safety. Time to guilt you into You're distracting me up. while I'm driving. <laughs> I sigh and finally hang up the phone, dropping it on my lap. It is remarkable how much I'm just like, hey, look, California. Yeah, no, definitely. Have I driven this road? Per Genuine <laughs> question. That looks like that looks like some places we've been, so... TJ, next to me in the passenger seat, seat, stretches back and scratches behind his ear. Ah, uh, that's cute. It's been a while since I've seen your mom. How is she? I shrug. Fine, I think. She wouldn't tell me if she wasn't, anyway. TJ taps a foot against the dashboard before yawning. Wow. Feels like we've been driving for 
days. Normally TJ wasn't one to whine, but the long drive was obviously getting to him. It was getting to all of us, honestly. I look over at him. We're almost there. Why don't you just listen to some music or something? My phone's been dead for the past two hours. I didn't know it would take us eight hours to get there. Who the f doesn't have a phone charger? Also, bud. welcome to California. Yeah, you can't everything's even, you real can't far even apart. Finish crossing the state in eight hours. No, <laughs> they were not Rhode Island or anything, no. guys. Like, someone, yes, no, was it? Toaster drove up from Los Angeles and it took five hours. And honestly, that's really fast. Yeah, that's he, very fast. He was and still speeding. only like half of the the state. I was gonna say it's funny because when I go other places. People, like I go to other states or like other countries. I'm, they're like, "Oh, where do you live?" I'm like, "Oh, in California." And they're like, "Oh, where in California?" I'm like, "They're not going to know any, any of the places I am nearby." So I just say, "Oh, kind of near the Bay Area by San Francisco." And they're like, "Oh, like oh, that's awesome." And I'm like, "You don't understand." I say that because I, it's the closest thing you're going to know, but it's like it's a several hour drive. Like yeah. it's not actually. I don't live in San Francisco. No. And the difference between San Francisco and several hours away is it's an immense immense difference. It's not at all the same lifestyle. Yeah, it takes hours to get to San Francisco. And yeah. Then the, and then the traffic fucks you if you're really in trouble. It's like a couple oh, hours yeah. for us. This is a new series technically people might have started here. Content warning. Just like in oh, general. Yeah. I don't all know of it. exactly what. Because it's, you know, spoilers. But this is a fucked up game <laughs> from what I understand. Some some dark so, stuff. So if there are subjects that you don't want to experience in a, in a thing. They're probably in this game. Probably don't. <laughs> I sigh. Whether that dig was purposeful or not, I still feel a little embarrassed. I'll admit, I got us lost for a few hours. Route 93 is hard to find, even with the GPS. It's no wonder that Echo's in the state it's in. Jenna? We haven't met Jenna yet, right? I, so, I don't know what this is, but I think that Jenna is Jasmine. I, well, okay, I was gonna say something about that, because you said Jenna, and you didn't say Jasmine. But then also, there was a phonetic fox in the picture, and I'm like... Yeah. I think Jenna and Jasmine, I think will at some point have a reference to her old name or something, but I'm just guessing. Okay. Because I think that's the same person. You should have brought a book. Those don't run out of batteries. I look up into the rearview mirror to see Jenna hold up a hefty book titled Cognition. <laughs> TJ sighs. All my books are on my phone. Why don't you listen to the radio? TJ it's starts to reach for the dial. Don't bother. All we, got are, all, all we get out here are hick stations. I have some music on my phone, though. Do you have an aux cable, Chase? And this clunker? No. But like I said, we're almost there. You didn't bring a charger or an aux cable, and well, you're I, traveling. I think his I think his mean his his car doesn't have one. Oh like, I can't see. have gotcha, one. Gotcha, gotcha. Just having the three of us here is a little awkward, unbalanced. I wonder if completing our little group will bring back the old chemistry. Thinking about seeing Carl, Flynn, and Leo again makes my heart skip a beat. Take exit one twenty seven onto Flint Road. I jerk back to the present and press on the brakes as I swerve onto the exit ramp. Oh, check out that cutout filter. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. TJ saying whoa about the cutout filter. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Chase, come on, pay attention. TJ adds a little giggle to lighten the, the chastisement, but my face gets hot anyway. Hey. Me and Jenna went three hours out of our way to pick you up on, from CCU. You could have taken the bus. No, no, I'm grateful. I'd just rather this not be the place I die. <laughs> we continue down Flint Road about 15 minutes in silence while I avoid the ever-increasing number of potholes in the road. What year is it? How old are they? I don't know how much time it's been. I think we're all a little nervous now as we get closer to our destination. It's easy to tell how old uh, Chase is because we just have to ask you how old you were that year. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're like, aha. And then I, I think... But we haven't figured out what... You, well, they said what year it was. Did it say what year it was? No, they just said it was Saturday. I think it said, just said Saturday. Yeah, shoot. Unsurprisingly, there is another car in sight. You guys excited? I look in my rearview mirror again to see that Jenna has put down her book. 
staring out in the window. I haven't actually given a whole lot of thought to it, at how I feel about the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> I would say nervous. <laughs> that is what you'd say. I mean, I... What I is do, it? What do, I don't even know where we're going. I'm typically... Uh, I think we're going to Echo? They talked oh, about how hard it's defined, and it's like, no wonder Echo's the, in the state it is. Oh, I in. see. Yep. He hasn't seen everyone forever. I think they're picking up their old friends to all visit Echo. Yeah, then I guess I'm I'm nervous. I'm nervous. This, this town he was specific... The la where we left off in the last game, he was afraid of being gay in this town, so there's worries. Yeah, we saw how, how Jenna slash Jasmine lived, so... Yeah. I don't know. It's been a while since we've all been together. Think things will be the same? I meant Echo. Are you excited to go back? That's what I meant, too. Yeah. Oh. I didn't really know how to answer that. Is excited the right word? Trepidatious. It sure is hell stressful. As long as we can go for a hike. I don't want to be sitting around in the motel all day. Well, it beats having a heat stroke in the desert. Are you seriously hiking the trail? Oh, come on. It'll be fun. At least I know Chase will come. TJ smiles at me, raising his brows. It's too hard to say no to such an eager face, at least right now. Yeah, yeah, of course. Anyway, it sounds like you've only got the boys on your mind, Chase. Leo, maybe? Make a slight right onto Lake Emma Road. I ignore Jenna, pretending to be distracted with the, adjusting the GPS. How, how close are we? I'd be concerned about any lake, <laughs> given... The constant references to a lake. A few more minutes of silence pass before Jenna speaks up again. So, this news thing you're making, what's it about exactly? I swerve a little to avoid the pothole. A news packet. If you remember, there was that one crazy thing that happened here in the early 1900s. I remember a bit about it, and it's pretty fucked up. Or I read a little bit about it, and it's pretty fucked up. Come on, Chase. Come on, Chase. Language. Man, TJ would hate me. I curse every, like, two minutes. Continuously. Just thought I'd do a little more digging. Honestly, though, I just need to make something that looks good enough to pass with. So he's in college. Well, that sounds kind of fun. Are you going to have enough time to hang out? I know Leo, Leo made some plans. This whole thing was Leo's idea, actually. When I told him that I'd be coming down to Echo for spring break, he suggested we'd all use it as an excuse to have a reunion. He says it hasn't been the same since the three of us left. Okay, so everyone else is still there. So so three, three got out. For now. <laughs> for now. <laughs> yeah, I should. I just need some B-roll and shots of the old creepy locations. Shouldn't take too long. I catch a flash of blue and see the lake to our right. The conversation dies down a bit, and pretty soon we're all lost in our own thoughts. Finally, we round a bend, and I start catching some glimpses of the town. The tall, rusted signs for the gas station and motel loom over the rest of the old community. Lake Emma Road merges right onto Main Street, where the motel is at. Soon enough, we're turning into the parking lot. There are only a few other cars in the parking lot. I park in the closest spot next to the door and switch off the ignition, relieved to be done with the driving. This game is way more obviously indie right off the bat than the uh, the previous one is, with the uh, the photo filter effect. Honestly, I think it kind of adds to the, the creepiness. Like yeah. to be fair, I like how this one has like that that roof on the right just blends in with the clouds, so yeah, it you, looks like it's missing the roof. You can't physically tell the boundary. Yeah, there's also I think it's an also it, it lets you get away with a. Uh, having a few more backgrounds in a what what's probably an area we'll never see again. Yeah, yeah, it's probably to, not worth making yeah. like a custom background for each one of these places. Because we're just getting through here and going to Echo probably. But like they don't want to just show a road for like I don't know, two hours or however long this part might be. I wonder if that's one of the if that's a, a car that belongs to one of the people that made the game or if it's just some strangers just some car. Strangers car is in here. It's, it's like a little cameo. <laughs> This looks like a very shitty hotel, which is, like, perfect. Like, yeah. the, all the ones that are like this, that are, like, in, like, a horseshoe shape, that are one story, are, like, always for, like, fucking or, like, shooting up. <laughs> like, 
I park in the closest spot next to the door and switch off the ignition, relieved to be done with the driving. I sit back for a moment, rubbing my eyes. Ugh, I hope you're grateful, TJ. I never want to drive that long again. Thanks, Chase. Maybe we have to drive you back? Like, you're doing this again all the way back? I suffered head trauma for this kid. <laughs> yeah. But TJ he, hops out of the car, clearly happy to be out. He was so cute. Ah, uh, look at him. Aw, he is, he is still cute, even when he's not a ghost. Ah. Uh, TJ pops it, puts his paws to his back and stretches out from toes to ear tufts, and I hear a few cracks. Gosh, it feels good to be out of there. He was what? Like, so we were 15, right? So he was a freshman, Well, did, did they say how much younger he was than us? Younger. And he, at 15 is like a sophomore, so he can't get much younger. So he's probably he was probably one year younger than us as a freshman. Well, I mean, I, th and I, I feel like 15 and I think is Leo's when you... older. 15 is like how old you usually are when you're a freshman. Yeah. So he could just be... He, so he, do you think he's just one year behind us in terms of like... No, I'm saying I think we were a sophomore at 15. Oh, you, right. You're, well, you're usually in... You've got like fuzzy room. What is it? Well, because like, like I... Because oh, like, we know it was... We know it was November. I graduated when I was 17. So I was like technically... I, I got that's, into that's school definitely sooner. early, yeah. Yeah. So he might just be, yeah, he might be younger like that. He might just be in our same grade level, but just have been like a younger kid in the same grade level. Maybe. Or just young and hard. I don't know if they ever specified. I just kind of figured that he was, I kind of just figured that Chase was a sophomore. Because I think I was a sophomore when I was 15. I mean, you're two different, you're two, you're, you're two different years every time you're any age, I guess, because it's a year. Yeah. And it doesn't match up with the, unless you're, unless you, unless your birthday is mid-June or something and you, your, your, your age doesn't change per year. Anyway. <laughs> Gosh, it feels good to be out of there. I smile as I follow him out and stretch as well, though less flamboyantly. It's good to see TJ reverting back to his old cheerful self. She, she looks exactly the same. She looks exactly the same. <laughs> All right. I made the reservation, so I'll check us in. Maybe she's a clone. You boys want to bring in your stuff? Our stuff. Sure. Me and TJ head back around, uh, head around to the trunk of the car, getting our bags and camera equipment while Jenna heads inside. So not making it there today. Oh, when they said they're almost there, they meant they're almost to the ho the motel. Fuck. <laughs> We're still, it's it's going to be a while to get home. Dude, those are short ass beds, right? This or, is a, I think it's just a matter of perspective, but they look, no, they look short, right? Those that's a really short. Look at the, it's it's yeah, no, because we have there's like a sense of scale because there's like. It's like a table, like the bedside table, the same length, and like, mm. I'm 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 taller than three microwaves. Yeah, this is a very this seems like a very short everything. I my my I, my feet go off my bed now. I don't want to know how this would go. Yeah, no. I <laughs> <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised. Are you? I'm not. Well, it is a bit musty. The room is spacious and no. And generally clean. In a general. lot more than I was expecting from a town like Echo. Oh, are they in Echo, but this is the t the place they're staying? Oh, yeah. I think it's probably it. Although I've lived in the town for most of my life, I, I've never actually been in the motel. Well, yeah. Okay, I mean, so we are here. I feel like if there's a motel in your hometown, you probably have never been there because you are probably living in your hometown when you live there and usually visit people you <laughs> Who's know. Who's going to share a bed? <laughs> ooh -wee. Someone gets to sleep in the closet on that little uh, bag holder thing they always give you. Hey, this is nice. And two double beds? Yeah, I thought I'd get one of the nicer rooms since everything here is dirt cheap. <laughs> Damn. TJ sets his bags down on the bed. So I guess this will be me and Chase's bed. Jenna can have her own, obviously. Yeah, ew, who wants to sleep next to a girl? <laughs> That's nice of you, TJ. Anyway, here are our key cards. She hands us both our key cards, which I slip into my back pocket. So, when are we gonna eat? I'm starving. My stomach grumbles. We haven't eaten since breakfast, and it's late afternoon at this point. I pull out my phone, checking over my texts with Leo. Leo said he's gonna get us some sandwiches from the diner. Did you tell? 
Yes, I told him to substitute the bread with lettuce for yours, TJ. Does he have a gluten allergy? Or does or, or, is, or is he, he just uh, difficult? Is he, just, <laughs> is he what? Just difficult. <laughs> I mean like well, I mean like just avoiding bread, because bread makes you fat? Uh, nice. Gotta, gotta get it animal style. Is that what's called? No. No protein style? Uh maybe maybe protein something. Mm. There's, a, there's a there's a there's a there's a thing you can you can say at In N Out if you want a burger. Animal style is one where they like fry uh, animal, everything animal and they put a bunch like of a, sauce on yeah, it. Animal, animal style is like a poutine, isn't it? It's they put yeah. stuff on the fries. Yeah. There's a way to order a burger where they they wrap it in lettuce inst or something instead of giving you buns. Yeah, it's popular. Um, it's, like so, my aunt has a gluten intolerance, so she actually does get that. But it's also popular amongst people that are trying to like lift weights and be yoked. Yeah. For anyone who doesn't know. Uh, in and out is a West Coast burger chain yeah. that really only exists here because I knew people who were from Illinois and the first thing they ever want to do was it's get really, in and out I mean, it's really good. Because <laughs> they're like, they're like, fuck, in, like, off the airplane, first thing they said. in and out genuinely they is in -N -Out as good as the rumors say that they are. Dude, if you don't and, even know, like, like, in California, every, there's, the lines, are, the so lines are so long. They're so long. They have, they, have, they have the person come out and take your order from your car while you're yeah. in the drive through li lane because the yeah. ordering system... They have like two people doing it because the ordering system can't even keep up. Yeah, someone just walks down the line and takes everyone's order, and they always have to have like giant parking lots so that there's like a w a place that they can like snake through. But like, as far as I can, I've, as I've heard, on top of having like this sounds like an ad, <laughs> on top of having like just like better food than most like burger places do, like it's just not as fucked up as a lot of it. Yeah, is. All, all the potatoes but, like, or fries are real potatoes when they come in the, yeah. the place. But like, uh, but like. They also like treat their employees really well yeah, dude, and pay them well. Starting wage there is is more, and I and so many people I know that have worked I know how much in people have get, loved that job. I know how much people get paid really because well. I hire people and like in and out people get paid like probably on average at least two dollars from our starting pay. Yeah, even with experience like at my job, it just so. seems like a good gig generally speaking. Yay in and out thumbs up to you. Good company. Like, people that I know that work in and out talk about how, like, they actually have, like, like their eye set on, like, upward mobility, and they have, like, goals within the company and, they, they and stuff. And they help pay for college and stuff. I had never even slightly thought in those terms when I worked at, like, Best Buy or someone. Oh, yeah, like, no way. I'm like, this, I'm pretty sure this job hates me, the guy who works here. <laughs> I hate every job that I've had, but they always give me upward mobility without my consent. <laughs> and I get stuck. <laughs> You're like, no, I'm too good at this. I should have acted like I was worse at stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, I've texted everyone that, that we're here. Let's at least unpack. It's going to get crowded. And I don't want all of our stuff in the way. Half an hour later, we've all got our stuff packed away in the motel drawers. I never actually do that. Yeah, I've never done that. <laughs> it stays in my bag. And then I just, I, I, I get a sec, I get a trash bag and I fill that trash bag with all of my used clothes. Yep. And then I jam that trash bag back into my into my luggage when I leave. Yep. <laughs> and that's that's how I, that's my entire process of separating clean and dirty clothes. Now I'm sitting on the bed toying with my camera equipment while TJ watches TV and Jenna organizes her schoolwork. You know you're on vacation, right? And didn't you already get into grad school? You should relax. So they're like fairly far in. They're like 3 or 4 years into college. Well, she is. They're all different ages, maybe. That's exactly why I need to be keeping up. There's a knock at the door, and being the closest, I get up to answer it. I'll get it. Mm. What? I think the aspect ratio is off here. I think they did some fuckery. <laughs> the, the door looks. Doesn't the door look stretched to you? Like wide wise? Yeah. Yeah, something, I mean, something looks trippy. Oh, yeah, no, it, it does because look at the thing on the top that's like the door stopper. It's, yeah. it's like a thing that makes the door slow when it's closing, but that's way too wide. Yeah. It should be uh, taller. Like, it's why I, th I think the, uh, when we talked about how short, how small the beds were at first glance, I think maybe it was. I mean, it definitely was not a spacious hotel room by any standard. But everything but, else but in the room looked correct. The room might have been squished. Maybe, but that microwave <laughs> like seemed like adequate, correct maybe. microwave size, but I don't know. Who am I to say? I look through the peephole excitedly to see a beanie cap with a pair of very familiar horns poking through it. I grin as I unlock the door and swing it open. Oh. He's all aged up, look at him. <laughs> He's taller now. Oh, your horns are so yeah. big. They're so big. Carl. 
Chase. I slap paws with him and pull him into a hug. And immediately get a whiff of the pungent scent of pot. Yeah, that, I mean, he, he just looks like a stoner. <laughs> it was immediately apparent. He looked like a stoner go. in high school. He looks like a stoner now. Despite that, his embrace is warm and plush, and his belly squishes against my body like a pillow through his jacket. There's an underlying sturdiness, though, and I feel his biceps bulge around my shoulders. Oh, he's jacked now. Had he been working out? I put my paws on his shoulders and push him back, looking him over. He's changed a bit since I've last seen him. He's definitely bulkier, and the fur on his face is a bit shaggier. His eyes are a little red, and his expression is a little glazed, like he's daydreaming about something far, far away from here. Still getting blazed, huh? <laughs> you know it. His joking nature drops a bit as he gives me a genuine smile. It's good to see you again. I feel warm inside as I smile back. You too. Is that Carl I hear? And see, because it's a tiny ass room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, right? Where the fuck's he hiding? <laughs> Carl and I step back into the room, the ram remaining slouched as we do. Wait, was that the... Okay, I'm not crazy. That's the bottom of the door. You can see the bottom of the door behind the dialogue box. That's how fucked up oh, the shape of the door you're, is. Oh, you're deaf. Okay. Yeah, yeah you're right. Okay, hang on a minute. Hey, Jenna. Carl, how have you been? Not bad. Just living life. Like, I'm a bee. It sounds like he's starting like to I'm sing the bee. lyrics to a song, but he trails off as we all look at him expectantly. He just smiles back. Huh? Hey, is that TJ? Hi! Though he's smiling happily, TJ's outright crinkling his nose. Still up to your old habits, huh? Judgmental much, TJ. It's that, that Christianity just puts it in you. It's that dumbass polo shirt, man. <laughs> Carl shrugs. Oh, you can see the cross through it. Oh, yeah. He's huh? wearing a cross right now. I'm starting to remember that it's something he does a lot. It's, an, it's his answer to almost everything. Oh, yeah, the shrugging. It gets quiet for a moment. Then I clap my paws together. So, what have you been up to, Carl? You're not online that often. Carl shrugs. <laughs> oh, you know, just hanging out. Must be kind of boring considering it's Echo. Not going outside helps. <laughs> You've been able to find a job? I know they closed the old corner market you used to work at. Yeah, been kind of hard since they pretty much since pretty much everything's closed around here. On top of that, I still don't have a car that can get me to Peyton. Oh, that's right. You crashed the one your parents got you. TJ is grinning Aww. sympathetically, but Carl hunches further into himself, your looking sulky. Parents probably got a really nice car, too. <laughs> Man, don't kill my vibe. What about school? Been thinking about going back? N not, not really. Maybe. Carl's starting to lose that faraway look as he narrows his eyes. You should. You went for what, a semester? That's not really enough time to tell if you're really cut out for college. Classes get easier to handle once you get used to it. Yeah, well, it wasn't exactly the schoolwork that was the problem. You could try smoking less weed. That might help. W what? Like you pointed a gun at him. <laughs> Is this... was I set up for an intervention or something? Carl looks over at me as if asking for help. Hey, don't look at me. I had to deal with them for the past ten hours. Yeah... I guess I just forgot how naggy they can be. That's because we care about you, Carl. Anyway, I'm pretty sure Chase has been missing you ever since you left school. Carl and I were in the same class throughout school. As a result, we entered college together. We even roomed together for that one semester, which was a lot of fun. Of course, I'd missed him. Carl seemed pretty eager to get off the topic, though. Speaking of school, didn't you get accepted into Weston, Jenna? Yep. Going into experimental psych. I start in the fall. That's pretty cool. Congrats. Carl turns back to me. 
And uh, you're into journalism, right? He looks over the equipment, looking confused. What's all this? Oh, yeah, one of my reasons why I'm out here. I'm doing a news segment on Echo. Sounds like the feel-good movie of the year, Chase. Yeah, like that one about the Amazon worker? <laughs> How many... Did that, did that win Oscars? What What one about Amazon workers? <laughs> it's a... Uh, what is it? The one... Uh, mm, the lady from Fargo? She, like, has a... She, like, lives, like, the homeless life essentially like she's like switching between like trailer and living in her car and other and she kind of like migrates around the country a bit every year in a cycle and like dur i think during the winter months she works at amazon and so on and like there's just like it's like a really specific like lifestyle really yeah it's like what, what's with like the, last I year what her name is she's awesome yeah she's married to one or i don't know if she still is but she was married to one of the coen brothers because they made that movie mm. And they, I don't know if they got together as a result of that movie or if it was, they were already together. I think it was the result of that movie, which is kind of cool, because they made her just super pregnant. <laughs> and, uh... Because you mean that lady, right? Yeah, I think so. Huh. I'm, like, fairly sure it's her. I want to look, look into that. <laughs> That's what you get out of... <clears throat> <sighs> That's what you get out of the feel-good town of the century, Carl. <laughs> yeah. Carl scratches his muzzle before turning to TJ. And you're doing, uh, what again? Sports something? Bible? Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> Bible <laughs> Olympics? Jeez. <laughs> Athletic training, but yes, it's a Christian school. What do you, what do you, what do you do, TJ? You think you'd be sport would TJ do? He's fucking jacked he, all the time. That's his job. <laughs> TJ? Yeah. He's a small, small little dude. I feel like maybe he'd run really fast. Yeah, well, I don't think he's bulking. You, you, get, you usually get big via exercising in ways that don't actually help with athleticism most of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, the bulkiest dudes are not the most athletic dudes, for no. sure. Carl gives him a thumbs up. Super. So, we're gonna eat? I'm hungry as hell. Hell is a little extreme there, Carl. Hell's where you go mm. if you keep smoking the weed, Carl. Should have left you at the party. Yeah, I was just saying, I, don't, <laughs> I wouldn't brought TJ. He was not cute <laughs> when he was a ghost at the Halloween party. But... Not even you could be that hungry. <laughs> <laughs> try, try me, bitch. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure. Where's Leo? He's bringing the sandwiches, right? He actually just texted me that he's here. He was picking up Flynn. Oh, everyone's here. So you're going to meet Flynn for the first time. So we're all going to be here, just like old times, in the most boring possible location of a fucking mo two-bed motel. <laughs> TJ almost looks like that little kid Lynx again, his ears twitching around in excitement. Oh, there they are. I grip the bedspread and watch as Carl moves around the corner to open the door. There's a corner. Wait, this is in the same room? I think it's the same room at, from the opposite angle. No way, man. No way. Maybe. We're, I don't think so. Oh, I guess. Dude, no, that, it's that... not. It's not because that mirror shows a window in it. And there's no there's no window over there. Huh. So it's like two different rooms as far as I can tell you. Like it's knock and sound. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, da, 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 da. <laughs> Anyway, I grip the bedspread and watch as Carl moves around the corner to open the door. I hear it open, followed by the distinctive, deep, brassy voice of Flynn. Hey, what are you getting with it? Why are you getting the door, fatty? To get my sandwiches, dick face. <laughs> I've got the munchies like a mother. Uh, where are they? Leo has them. Here he is. Hey. They all in there? My hip, my heart skips a beat, and my tail thumps the bed as I hear Leo's high baritone. We like the sexy music now. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna go at it right here. <laughs> in front of everybody. Front of everybody. <laughs> There's some bustling before they start coming around the corner, bringing me face to face with the rest of my childhood friends. Ooh, he's, he's, he's cute. <laughs> I Flynn like the sexy first. reptile, man. <laughs> you get your reptile. Slinking in casually, his posture loose and relaxed, slouching. 
Unlike Carl, though, his slouch makes him look like he just doesn't give a fuck, as opposed to just trying to make himself seem smaller. He wasn't a shy guy, as evidenced by his open shirt. And who you calling a dick face? Flynn knocks Carl on the head, which makes a loud thunking sound, but Carl just grins throughout. Hey, Jenna. TJ. Chase. He nods to each of us in turn, rubbing his knuckles. Ooh-wee. Immediately following him, his arms wrapped around two big brown paper bags, is Leo. He's got the anchor on his wrist. Yeah, he does. He smiles over the tops of the bags, sweeping the room with his eyes along with his tall rectangular ears. He definitely looks different. I like, I like yeah. this design a lot more. He pauses on Jenna, then TJ, before finding me. His face immediately breaks into a full-on grin as he walks over to the bed I'm sitting on, setting down the bags. As he comes to a stop in front of me, I reach out my paw to slap his, like I did with Carl. Instead, he grabs it to yank me right up into a tight bear hug, nearly squeezing the air out of me. Chase! Man, I missed you. Just like Carl, it seems like Leo's gotten bigger and stronger. He lifted me up without even trying. He's also got a belly now. The tension I've been feeling in my chest melts away like an ice cube on an echo sidewalk. He had a belly before. Did he? He just had. A, he was standing I'll at like an angle. This. So when he would when he would do like his little like um, I feel like he had a more of a belly before. So whenever when he would like get embarrassed or like crouch or whatever, like <laughs> it was it was you'd see it. it. Just he was like standing at like a different angle last time. Everything's fine. All of that worry about how we, he was going to react was for nothing. The hug is lasting kind of long, though. <laughs> In front of everyone. I yeah. can feel everyone else <laughs> looking at us. And just like that, he forgets we exist. Leo finally does pull back then, smacking me on the shoulder before turning to greet Jenna and TJ. I shakily sit back down, feeling a whole lot better now that the introductions are out of the way. There's a window over there? <laughs> Where's the... This can't be the same room. <laughs> what? Huh. Where's the front door? <laughs> uh, that was the direction the door was in. <laughs> That's where the window is. This, this is just a... Uh, it's, it's like in The Shining where... Um, the, the space makes is impossible. Yeah, he, they, they he purposefully purpose. made spaces that didn't make sense. Like there's a window where there can never possibly yeah. be a window, and like you don't really notice it, but your your brain kind of does. <laughs> Little it makes do it we know this creepy. is where the horror game actually begins. Yeah, in reality, there's like this it's whole room doesn't have a door, room. and then they're like, "Wait a minute, how did you get in with the sandwiches?" And like, how did any of us get in? No, no, have we been here the whole time <laughs> for is all this of eternity? A, is this a simulation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Leave Carl in a room for five seconds and it smells like a goddamn skunk sauna. The weed is just oozing out of your pores at this point. Flynn theatrically plugs his nostrils as he pulls the window open a crack. Which is like a... That is very theatrical for him. Like, it's such a fucking effort for him to cover his nostrils because they're so, they're so far, far apart. apart. He probably needs his whole like hand. He doesn't have a nose to squeeze. Carl wrote... Carl rolls his eyes, slouching further and jamming his paws in his pockets. Oh, shut up. I think everyone here agrees that my smell's a lot better than your shedding. Nothing like leaving a big pile of lizard dust on the couch for the next person. <laughs> and by the way, dude, that skunk comment was speciesist. And that lizard comment wasn't? Flynn turns to me, fanning the air from the outside with his hand. What's worse, Chase? Carl's smell or my dusting off? <laughs> dusting off? That's not a thing. Try saying white flakes that chip off me with every step I take, except when I scratch my ass, then it's like a fucking blizzard of dead skin. And some of it might land in your mouth. <laughs> that's what you should call it. It's kind of a mouthful. Yeah, that's quite a long name yeah. for that. Hey, you furballs do it too, it's just less noticeable. Either way, it's hot in here. Aren't you cold-blooded? Someone turned down the goddamn thermostat. Somebody turned down your language! <laughs> Dude, I <am> fucking <laughs> TJ. Oh, guess who- guess which character is my favorite? 
Probably not out. <laughs> <laughs> TJ says it to him like a cheerful kindergarten teacher pep talking a student into using his words. Use your words. He's gonna fuck. Be, he's gonna be a teacher. <laughs> My word is me. fuck. That's the word I'm using. They're both just ellipsizing at each other now. No words for you. They stare at each other for about five seconds. Flynn's expression like a stone while TJ slowly loses his smile. <laughs> uh. Well, Jesus butt fucking Christ. I'll be sure to watch that. <laughs> Flynn. TJ actually looks pretty upset, but Flynn just reaches out and yanks him into a chokehold. The much shorter links easily dwarfed by the lizard. Ah, shut up, you priss. I'm just kidding. Is this his happy face? <laughs> Is that what it looks like? The, uh, the Flynn's? Yeah. It's just like smirk. Like, <laughs> <laughs> TJ half-heartedly fights the hold. I guess TJ thought he'd get some respect now that we're all adults. Hey, ow. Y you still said it. Normally I might step in to help, but it's been a while since I've seen Flynn and TJ go at it. It's just too funny to stop. Look, l no lightning. So much for your almighty g Oh! TJ jabs his elbow back into Flynn's stomach, doubling the lizard over for a second. Ha! See? God works in mysterious who- Ow! Flynn reaches up and grabs one of the tufts on TJ's ears and yanks, earning a yowl from the feline. Foul. Species features. Species features was something we made up to make our tussles a little more fair. It involved any distinct physical difference between our species that might pose a disadvantage like my tail, Jenna's ears, or TJ's ears ear tufts. Carl was especially keen on it. Being a ram, his horns were often used as leverage against him. But they also, I feel like they can also kick someone's ass with those. Like, I feel like it works <laughs> both he, ways. That's a bit of a commitment to violence, though. <laughs> like, if he's gonna go uh, straight up headbutt somebody. Probably could kill somebody, for sure. In in more casual, f like, wrestling or whatever, it's just a thing where people get to grab his horns. Yeah, and it's like, well, he's yeah. fucked. TJ, come get your sandwich. TJ finally yanks himself out of Flynn's grasp, smoothing down his fur as he tries to look as dignified as possible. Well... I can see things haven't changed. With that, TJ walks over to the table and gets food. I can't help but laugh. <laughs> I think TJ won that one by technicality. Or did he? He might have fouled too. Flynn's got a soft lizard belly. <laughs> Flynn snorts, rubbing his stomach. Oh, don't even try to tell me about soft, asshole. It looks like you swallowed a beach ball. <laughs> Speaking of which, food. <laughs> well, he seems unfazed. We all pass the bags around to get our food. Flynn is an asshole. <laughs> yeah. There's not a lot of... It's like that... I, I don't know if it's just that over-familiar dickishness that people have sometimes, but I'm like, so from the outside, it just seems like he's a dick all the time and not a fun way. <laughs> A chicken sandwich for Jenna and TJ, roast beef for me and Leo, and three large veggie burgers that almost take their own bag for Carl. Flynn, as usual, isn't eating anything. It's a lizard thing. Yeah, I mean, their metabolism makes it so they can only eat once in a long while. I mean, lizards can probably eat most more often. Yeah, they're leaning really heavy on species traits for a universe where they're all probably mostly human. <laughs> but it's, it's the novelty of it. I like how they keep, they keep saying pause. Yeah. For their hands. But the thing is, is like with uh with Carl, it's like he wouldn't even have paws if he just was a ram. He would have hoofs anyway. So I feel like oh, it's just, yeah. you just call them. No, if you hands. look at if you look at Carl's hands, they do a really specific thing that you see with uh like deer and ram like characters where all of them end in dark tips, mm -hmm. which are presumably like hoof tips, yeah. essentially. And it's incredibly strange to think about, so I try not to. Because I don't understand in, like, if you tried to draw it in, like, realistic detail, what does that part of their hand look like? How does it work? I'm not sure. But I mean, when they're cartoon characters, you just draw the, like, their, last, their last digit of their finger, basically, as being dark. And that's, like, suggested to be something, and you just don't think about it too much. Well, hooves are keratin, like your fingernails. Yeah. It'd just be like having the whole tip of your 
fingertips just be fingernail. <laughs> just the gotta be really like if he when he like if he touches you, it's gotta just feel really weird. Like it's clack like, clack he, clack. Yeah, he's like a he's like a, a mannequin, like but only his fingertips. Like just a, such a strange detail. I don't know what to make sense of it. I don't feel like you have sensation. It's gotta cause. It feels like it would cause all sorts of problems with like picking things up, because you don't have skin. Yeah, and, so you, oh, and using your smartphone. Yeah. You couldn't uh, they, unlock. They, they have to be like designed differently for them to be use, able to use a smartphone. And like, I think about like I, I knew somebody who didn't have fingernails and they couldn't pick up quarters and stuff. Because like they, they, they don't. They didn't have any fingernails at all. No. Huh. They just didn't have fingernails, so they couldn't like pick up something like a, a coin because there wasn't like enough like tension and, and like friction because the nail really lets that be possible otherwise you're just too squishy and it's just oh, too frustrating uh so i'm like he's he's not, he's, got, he's got like the opposite problem his car his fingers are so cartoonishly like solid looking if you commit to this logic that i'm like can he like the human world things up at all <laughs> already difficult enough it's already difficult enough to design it's so something much worse than being left-handed <laughs> everyone like it's hard enough to think of a, a world where something could be designed for every person like yeah. we have we have such variety even in just human beings to, to think of a world where the variety is exemplif is like amplified by like a thousand probably i mean more than that it's, it, i can't even imagine how many products exist in this world if you're gonna like suit everyone's needs like dude yeah it's probably a product for absolutely every everything that's some of the earmuffs for lynxes, very yeah. specifically. That's some of the fun part of like Zootopia and B Stars is every now and then they just dedicate some time to just the unhinged world building of how the hell anything works. Yeah. Like I like that they go to like there's like in Zoo it's like two seconds long, but in Zootopia there's like a smoothie place and a giraffe orders a smoothie and they like hold it up to this this thing and it like fucking like pneumatic tubes up to them. Yeah, because like, it just shoots they, up to I'm... them. It's like just absurd. And they have like different uh different things for all the small critters yeah. they don't get stepped on by the big critters <laughs> like yeah and b stars is just actively absurd like there are entire chapters dedicated to explaining things that will never be in the anime because it's just like why this doesn't affect the plot but it's but really it's funny fun. they explained it <laughs> it's up there with like the anime did show the part where they have dedicated rooms where like the the, the wolves just like hang out in a room with a fake moon like Aww. once a week <laughs> it's really goofy <laughs> i love that stuff all right well next time sandwiches yes please Yes, please.